Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Dean Lofi Plays and we're going to be doing a new first impression video today. It is a game called Stray Blade. It is a new Souls-like. I was trying to get a key from Key Mailer, but I wasn't able to uh, as it's already released and they're probably not giving keys out anymore. We are going to do our first gameplay showcase today. So I thought I'd buy it and see how it is. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go to new game. So when you first click new game, you can choose male or female. We're going to go male. And then what does your Farron sound like? Voiceovers. So you can pick male or female voiceover. Uh, this is your difficulty. So basically, I think we're going to just go with adventure as it's nice and balanced. But if you are wanting super challenge in this game, you can go Ver uh, Farron must die or you can do the challenge. But we're going to go adventure and we are going to confirm. All right, here we go. Blue indicators attacks with a blue glow cannot be dodged at the, la at the last moment. OK, little tip there, guys. All right, here we go. Valley of promise, a Korea where God sleeps. Nobody would have believed me back then. That's all their different names. In truth, describe the same. But for this reason, it was me, the unimportant stray, who found it. I traveled alone, as I always did. Since if I were to be betrayed, my journey would have become a race against those with more money and power. And then, I took my first step onto a Korean ground. I thought that this would be my biggest adventure. But how big it would be, I could have never known. Oh, he got destroyed. Hmm. Okay. Here we are. We're laying down on the ground because we got knocked down. Oh, he has a stone in his chest. As long as I'm still alive, that's all that matters. Like they always said, Farron will probably survive anything. I like his voiceover, actually. So, time to leave. Okay. All right. Uh, a fast goodbye. Find a way out of the valley. Okay, so it looks like top left we have our health and stamina. Um, bottom, bottom left there's like a heart shape. I'm assuming. That is like heels, I'm assuming. Okay, so we gotta find a way out of uh, this place. So let's go up here. We can push space to jump. Okay, F to climb. I do like the look of this game. I like the colors. Okay, climb down again. We have a drawing on the wall. Copy Homecoming Mural. Okay. Okay, you discovered Homecoming. Uh, you've discovered discovered Homecoming. So if we go map. Oh, the map is kind of clean. I wish you could kind of zoom in a little bit more. But uh, it's pretty clean map. What do we got here? We got skill tree. Whoa, they got a, bit, a decent sized skill tree. Blueprints. There is no blueprints. Uh, customization. Oh, we can already customize. Oh, wow. Nice. So blue. Okay, so you can probably do uh, different accents. Yeah. 
So customization is not bad. So chest, head. Okay, there it is. Scarf. I don't know what this is changing. Okay, that's not bad. Um, we'll just leave it like that for now. Inventory slots, pretty simple. Armor, energy efficiency. Okay. Press M to open the map of... Uh, we just did that, yo. Okay, so it looks like we have to go here. This is our um, little dot thing. I'll go left shift to sprint. Okay, nice. Alright, let's go down. It gives me kind of like a Kenya vibe a bit. Oh, I should have jumped there actually. Alright, we're going down. Okay, pick up your sword. Push J for the journal. So this gives you kind of like your quest. I would recognize my sword any day, no matter what condition it is in. It was made at my order by the blacksmith in a small town. Not long before I started my journey to the valley. A sort of reward for actually figuring out its position. Which makes it all the more confusing that it is already rested. Either I was unconscious for a long time or that blacksmith was a scam. Uh, never, uh, never, never, uh, nevertheless, I would pick, uh, I should pick it up. Even a rusted sword is better than no weapon at all. Okay. Okay, so it looks like here's the sword. It's kind of rusted. All right. Continue searching for a way out of the valley. All right. Uh, maybe the merchant ripped me off. Okay, attacking and, and energy. Perform light attacks with left click, heavy attacks with right. Okay. Light attacks are faster, but also less powerful. Um, attacks will consume energy. Energy regenerates over time. Always keep an eye on your energy during battle. Okay, we get it. Okay, so we can swipe this. Delete this. Nice. Okay, animation is kind of cool. I kind of want to explore a little bit over here. So we can't cut those. So when you're moving around, it's probably best to check the map. I just kind of wanted to see what was over there. Uh, there's this glowing mark. I don't know what this is yet. So let's go over to the camp. Okay, targeting. Uh, middle mouse button. Select or deselect the target. Hoped it wouldn't be necessary, but I think I should change into my helmet. Oh, that's kind of nice. Pretty smooth. Uh, use tab or move to switch between targets. So you just kind of move your mouse. Nice. Easy enough. Uh, I for inventory. Uh, this is your inventory me uh, menu. Here you can see all your already collected items, resources, and weapons. Switch to the helmet tab with D. Okay, nice. So A and D would be basically just going through the different uh, sections. Um, Baron can craft different types of helmet, uh, helmets, chest plates, and shoulder plates. The higher the combined armor value of Farron's equip gear, the higher is his protection against all damage. Armor also increases the energy cost of dodging. All right. Hover over the stag helmet and equip it by holding space. Okay, so there you go. Nice. So we got a stag helmet now. Beautiful. I like that. Okay, continue searching for a way out. All right, let's go. Sometimes I, I feel like the frames are, they drop a little bit. But. Okay, J, follow the mysterious lights. Oh, I see. Oh. What is happening here? Anyway, how bad can it get? I do enjoy these kind of games, these like indie 
kind of like, Seems like these shrines were third person kind of so otherwise they wouldn't have survived through knows how long enjoy the coloring like i said all right so not everyone is dead so there's like these handprints that are glowing on the wall hey hola uh salve don't want to disturb you in your uh business but do you know a uh, way out of here i guess i gotta fight you eh oh, i suppose you don't i guess i shouldn't have even tried asking <laughs> Okay, dodge attacks. Dodge attacks are indicated by the enemy flash, flashing red, as well as red trails on the attack. Okay. Uh, important to react to the actual movement of the attack, not the flashing color. Yeah. Dodging costs energy. It's on my side, but... Animations are a little slow, but that's okay. Oh, wow. Got him. That was easy. So, yeah, I feel like the animation, there's like a, a two second little delay, but it's okay. You can get used to it. Okay, so we're going to loot this. New weapon blueprint. We got iron bars, 13 straps, two sensilla, and uh, bone dust. Nice. Okay, so let's check out our inventory. We have no uh, weapons. Okay, we are. We collected some crafting materials. Can I uh, collect anything there? No, I guess not. Continue following the mysterious. Mysterious. Okay, dodge types. The quality of dodge depends on your timing. Good dodges create space between you and your enemy. Perfect dodges also regenerate some of your energy. Try to dodge as close as possible to the impact to achieve a perfect dodge. Okay, that's cool mechanic. Oh, I fucking... So when it goes green, that's when you regenerate it, I feel. Yeah. Oh, we're doing pretty good dodges. Oh, no. Oh, I'm almost dead here, actually. I fucked up. <laughs> okay, so I feel, um, I feel you don't want to attack too early. You actually want to attack after you've dodged. Okay, so I guess when we die, we revive here. Yeah, you never want to be risky, I feel, in this game. Okay, so you actually revive all the way back when you die. So that is one thing you want to avoid, I'm assuming. So let's quickly get back to where we were. So that kind of sucks, but that's okay. We weren't too far uh, away. Our health bar is pretty low, though. Okay. So let's go back. So I think, yeah, the best time probably to attack is when once you dodge. Because he's in the swinging animation. Okay, we're going back. And I wonder if, um, I wonder if we die, do we pick up like what we dropped? Your, I don't think your inventory, no, your inventory doesn't drop. Okay, so let's go uh, get this guy again. Oh man, I missed it. 
No. Okay. We got chill here. Oh. Okay, so we're out of energy. So you kind of need to back off, actually. There we go. We got it. Okay, so energy gets depleted pretty fast. And you got to make sure you're dodging perfect to regain it. Okay, health and heart berries. The red bar is Farron's health by consuming heart berries with Q. That's what I thought that was. The health bar can be restored. Uh, heart berries can be found in the world. But your storage capacity for them is limited. Some enemies can also drop heart berries in specific situations. Every time Farron gets revived, all heart berries will be restored. Okay, nice. So let's go. Boom. Alright, let's continue on. Oh, a forge. Well, my sword probably won't hold it much longer. But I never was that good at forging. Well, I guess, uh, let's... I should at least be able to craft something better than a rusty sword. Fuck, man. Okay. Bad. Oh, I just, so when you get, so you can actually do backstabs in this game. Okay. There you go. We got him down. Okay. So let's, um... Man, the energy. Okay, craft weapon from schematic fans. Oh, wow. Tinker. So we're crafting a new sword. Nice. I don't know if it's like massively heavy, but we'll see. Nice. Okay, like a journal. Probably less dangerous too. <laughs> so these are all your completed. This is your current. Could ever sit still long enough. Okay, here we go. We got the new sword. We're equipping it. It has more range, speed. Yeah, more speed and control. Uh, less control actually. So it's faster, but it's probably heavier. Okay, let's keep on going. Okay, we got another dude here. Uh, we got like health. Okay, parry attacks are indicated by the enemy flashing blue. Okay, so he's he's gonna parry. Parry attacks are indicated by the enemy flashing blue as well as blue trails on the attack. The they must be parried by using E right before the impact. React to the actual movement of the attack, not the flashing color. Okay. Uh, these 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 attacks can be cannot be dodged at the last moment. Red attacks can in turn not be parried. Okay, so red attacks. Whoa! This sword is crazy. Okay. Okay, and then we have a finisher too. So when you push F, it finishes them off. This game is pretty good, actually. It plays really well. One armor part. Okay. Um. So what does that mean? One armor part. Fallen in battle from a soldier of one of the three factions. The armor part still has its uses. Okay. So let's check out my map. Okay, so we want to go this way, it seems. Oh, 
Oh, what is this? Okay, so we can loot plants. So that's a weed. Okay. Let's go back to the map here. We do kind of want to go around here, actually. Okay, nice. Oh, shit. Dude, I got destroyed. What? Because I was trying to parry. <laughs> okay. So the one downfall is when you do die, you go back to your recent on uh, location. So we got to go all the way. So we got to find another one of these, I feel. Okay. So we're going to run back again. My fault, guys. Okay. We're just getting used to the uh, the parrying and uh, the animations and stuff. So far, it's been playing pretty smooth. Okay, let's... Uh, we do have one health now, so we can use that if we're low. Yeah, I've, I've always been a fan of kind of like these indie games kind of like this. That use these bright colors... Uh, very, like, atmospheric. I'm always trying to find more games like this. Okay, let's get back. Oh, here we go. Akreen Life Shrine. So we, this is, um, so we'll respawn here now. Uh, Acrea is a full of Akreen Life Shrines like this. You'll be revived at the last... Uh, Akron Life Shrine you interact with. There we go. Okay, so we don't have to run back. This is this is where we're gonna respawn now. Okay, so we gotta find another one. Coming up. All right. Okay, let's get this duder. Oh, I... Okay, so when that F goes up, you want to hit that. Because it's a finisher. Okay, let's heal. Alright. It's just getting the timing down. Oh, yeah. They said don't react to the color, but the swing. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, the timing. So you'll see him go blue, but you have to kind of wait a, a couple more seconds until he swings. And then you want to parry. Okay, there we go. We got some health. Uh, anything over here we can interact with? Nope. Let's look around. Uh, let's go up this. Ooh, our first chest in the game. Let's go. Okay. New armor blueprint. Nice. Winged, winged helmet. Okay, so now if we go to journal, inventory, uh, blueprints. Okay, so for us to craft this, we'll need, uh, we're going to need one more armor part and one more sensila. So if it's orange, we haven't collected everything for those. All right. Go back down. Read note. Arrival, the group. Okay, so this is kind of just lore stuff. All right, let's get over here. Hey, you. Still not feeling like showing yourself? <sighs> Thought so. Even if you'd stop helping me now, I couldn't blame you. Where the hell are you, man? Thank you. 
while following you is not the best. Okay, parry types. The quality of your parries depend on your timing. Good parries deal some po uh, poise damage and regenerate some of your energy. Perfect parries deal more more poise damage. Try to parry as close as possible to the impact. Okay. So the game is to get good at at dodging and parrying. Okay. So let's check the map here real quick. Okay, so we gotta... Yeah, my parrying sucks right now. Yeah. There's a little bit of delay you gotta get used to. Okay. I'm thinking um marking or dotting your enemy is better than not. Okay. So let's go back, let's do this again. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to just get used to uh targeting my uh, enemies actually. I feel like it's better. Oh, what's here? So we can't do that. It's probably like a Okay, we got buddies here. Oh, what? He's got range? Oh, that was a waste. Damn, man, it is. It's a really. Okay, so some enemies don't uh, have the parry feature. Okay, loot them. Nice. Let's heal. All right. Pick up the compass at the Golden Order. Oh, okay. The compass will help you find your way through uh, Acria. Toggle the compass with C. Seeing as I kept you with you, it shouldn't be that hard to find a way out of here. Oh, that's very cool. Okay, let's get some of this. Nice. All right. Let's check the map. Yeah, we gotta go this way. Okay, uh, let's try this guy again. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my god, his timing is so weird. Jesus. Okay. 40 minutes. I can't even get through the tutorial.
search the camp. Maybe the order has some use for it. Okay, here we go. Come on, boy. Come at me. Oh, the time. Like, I got to figure out his. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, like, I never. I don't know when to do it. There we go. Okay. We committed. All right, right, right. Let's go. Let's continue. Map. We're going forward. Climb down. All right, here we go. Uh, climb. Let's defeat this guy. Approach an enemy slowly from behind with caps. Oh, thank you. Now you tell me. I'm assuming you need to put F. Okay, here we go. Loot this. New armor blueprint. Amazing. Okay. I think with this game, once you get the timing of everything, uh, it goes a little bit smoother. You can read every tutorial again at any time in the glossary menu, so make sure to give it a look if you're ever unsure about how something works. Okay. All right, uh, I think I'm going to end the first impressions here. Um, we had some issues, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this game. Let me know in the comment section if you guys are going to be picking this up. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video.